Inflatable poop. You could totally do a couple's costume. One could be the inflatable pooper, and the other could be the inflatable poop. Today we are in Wadsworth, Ohio at another Spirit Halloween. Last year I remember coming out here and saying it was in a former bed, bath, and beyond the grave. This is actually one of my favorite places I filmed last year. It might just seem that every Spirit Halloween is the same, but it is totally not, guys. You always find awesome stuff from each one that you haven't seen in other ones. All right, guys, let's go in here and see what this is about, see what kind of awesome stuff we can find. And Spirit, if you're listening, we want masks with Crouchy and hugs and all the awesome animatronics on them. I just love the way this store looks, guys. <laughs> this is one of my favorite setups. All right, let's go on in here. Here we go. Thank you, automatic doors. Front and center, we have Crouchy. Hello, spirit baskets. Oh my gosh, I remember these from last year. These are so cool. Ghostbusters pencils, look at that. That is so awesome. Little Slimers. I wonder if he has a butt. You know what? Let's start a little different this time. Here's all the animatronics behind us in Reaper's Island. Let's just take a walk through and then we'll see what other things we can see, and then we'll come back and we'll do the animatronics. All right, let's take a spooky walk through Reaper's Island. Don't get burned by the flames or scared by the spiders. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. We got Johnny Punk, guys. Holy crap, the first time I've seen him set up. Am I so excited? I don't know. You made a big mistake coming over here. I'll give you a three-second head start to get lost. One two, three! What are you gonna do? You can't even swing! Right, let's do that again. Who are you calling a clown? You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> I just don't get it, guys. Is there anybody out there who likes Johnny Punk? I mean, just because I don't like him so much, I'm beginning to like him. <laughs> All right, let's continue on our tour. This is one thing I haven't done in any of these videos, is just kind of show the entire store and how it's laid out. Look at this, this one is pretty big. Like I said, it's inside an old Bed Bath & Beyond, so there is plenty of space in here for them to set up. But yeah, look at this. Gotta love this store. Okay, let's just continue a walking tour and see how this looks everywhere. Here's how it looks from the back of the store. And they kind of have little partitions and walls set up around so that you have to walk through like hallways and stuff. That's cool. Okay, through here real quick. Here's the kids stuff. All the infant costumes. Here's some clearance costumes and stuff. All right, that's enough. Let's get over and see the animatronics. <laughs> Got Sam. I mean, believe it or not, guys, I honestly have never seen the Trick or Treat movie. I'm gonna have to rent it and watch it. A couple of empty spaces here for things that are coming soon. Let's do Crouchy. Look how enormous he is, guys. He's just so huge. Size 42s. Look how big his hands are compared to mine. <laughs> All right, Butcher, you're next. Here we go. Yeah, he's nice and loud. This is your piggy or tomorrow. Where are you going? I think this is only the second place where I've seen the flames coming out the top. Of course, it probably just depends on how big the actual uh, building is, you know, whether they can actually have them set up like that or not. But look at this, you gotta love that entryway right there. That looks so cool. I do wish they had some kind of a haunted house or a tunnel or something to walk through this year, but it's probably, you know, a whole COVID thing. Got Dahlia waiting here to kill us. Are her eyes lit up? <laughs> Choker. <laughs> her. 
Sorry, Dolly, I didn't mean to choke you. <laughs> Through the flaming flames one more time. Wait, look at this. That looks so cool up there. Like he's in a little loft. Let's get our spiders going here. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I thought he wasn't going to jump. I thought he was, like, going to hit this thing or something. I see you, Mr. Spider. All right, let's get this one here. Those two work really good, man. And everything in here is nice and loud. That's awesome. Look, his eyes are still glowing like he's like looming in the background just waiting for you. All right, we got Captain Jack Sparrow here. Hello, Captain Jack. All right, we got Peekaboo Clown and Uncle Charlie. And of course, we have a couple of surprises for Charlie's bucket. If you come in here and find them, just take one. Leave plenty for others. Let's do Charlie first. It's all fun and games. Till somebody loses their soul. <laughs> it's all fun and games till somebody loses the aqua fresh. <laughs> hey, peekaboo. I just love hide and seek. One, two, Two and a half! Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> There's nowhere to hide on Halloween night! We're all out to get you! <laughs> I love how loud all of these are. Sometimes they're really quiet, but... <laughs> He's so loud! I love it! Alright guys, check this out. On my journey, I ran into another awesome YouTuber. His name is Jordan. What's your channel called? My Flippin' Life. My Flippin' Life. I'll put a link below, and you guys can go check him out, give him a sub, give him some love. Okay, speaking of loud or quiet props, here is Mommy's favorite, and look, she's even telling us, shh. Okay, try it out. I don't want to wake up my mother. She's been thinking for a long time. You don't want to wake up my mother. She's been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> Ironically, this is the first one that has been totally quiet. And she's not moving either. I don't know what she's supposed to do. Probably just like move back and forth or something. Kind of creepy though. Unfortunately, there's not much setup over here, but there is the best one ever. The Harvester of Souls. Here we go. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine. <laughs> At least the lights come on. Oh, and you can see the fan turning like in his mouth there. But man, I wish we could find one where the fog was on. I've only seen like one video online. It may even have been Haunt Formers where the fog was turned on, but let's do that again. Hello, Miss Dangly Feet. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! Man, there's so many that I'm always tempted to buy, but that one right there, I really, really would love to have if I was gonna set up a haunt. Look at these skulls. This is something else I haven't really pointed out yet, but look how there's like a hand mark on the skull. Like a, a hand just burned through the skull. That looks so cool. And you know what would be so awesome is if they had flames like this over here in different areas. Man, that would be cool. All right, let's see what we got over here. Fogging Skull Trio. I don't know if I've seen that one anywhere. Mummy Fogger. Oh look, we have Rusty. How cool. We got Sally. Somebody was telling me to look for the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, animatronics. There's two Sallys here. Got the Graveyard Ghoul. Remember him from last year? His head pokes out from behind the grave. Man's Best Friend. I saw a video the other day where it was totally pitch black and then somebody had this one uh, pop out and it looked so cool. His whole head glows. We have a lone one over here, Sitting Scare Witch. I wonder why this is just like sitting 
all alone over here. Maybe it's broken or something. We got another man's possessed friend here. Looming straw man. I don't think I've ever seen that one actually up and moving around. Oh look, oh, it's another Sally. <laughs> they got three Sallys here. I don't see a whole lot of inflatables in the spirit stores, but here's an inflatable Sam. Here's an inflatable light up gargoyle, five feet tall. Here's a spooky tree. You guys know I love the spooky trees. We got a four foot pumpkin stack, a ghost, the inflatable skeleton hands, which I also love, and the inflatable light up clown archway. That might be my favorite one. All right, guys, let's look for a few things that people have requested. AJ's World asked me to find some Chucky stuff. I know they have it. Let's just find out where it's at. Well, here's a Chucky shirt that is totally dope. Here we got a couple of regular size Chucky Good Guys dolls. Remember, guys, I'm going to be giving one of them away soon. Uh, talking animated Chuckies. Oh, here's Bride of Chucky. Here's a Chucky mask. I know a couple of stores have different ones. This looks pretty cool. And here's a whole bunch of Chucky stuff here. Here's the Good Guys hammer. That's awesome. Chucky's knife. That's cool cosmetic kit and here's costumes for a boy and for a girl we have this awesome bag here too i love this <laughs> okay jassy asked me to find nightmare before christmas and they do have some here's sally's dress and jack's outfit it comes with the pants too cool uh let's see here's the kids the trick-or-treaters <laughs> gloves paint Oh, they got stitches, a wig. Uh, let's see, there's the dress, there's Jack Skellington. I have seen uh, Jack Skellington masks in other stores, but I don't see any in this one, guys. I gotta tell you guys, reading through some of these comments, some of them are crazy. Somebody called just said, thanks for making your voice less bad. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> All right, Volts Gaming Network asked me to find uh, Freddy stuff, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. I just saw it right over here. They got a cool little selection of stuff. We got the sweater. We got a couple of different gloves. Let's see, how much was this one? This is a pretty cool one right here. 20 bucks, that is pretty cool. I'm really tempted to buy that actually. I'm tempted to buy so much, but here's a, a pretty cheap um, Freddy mask. I mean, depending on how much money you have to spend, there's that one, there's this one, and then there's this one. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask, and this is the best looking Freddy mask I have seen in a long time, guys. I believe that's 90 bucks. No, 70. That is so cool. And it's Trick or Treat Studios, yep. We even got Nightmare on Elm Street socks. These are awesome, I should get them. I heart Freddy Krueger. <laughs> of course, we got the Freddy shirt, the Dreamer. I would buy that right now if I had my size. Mateo Cruz, I think that's how you say the name. He was also looking for Freddy stuff. So there you go, buddy. All right, let's do a couple more here. MJ Plays asked me to look for Fortnite. I know I just saw it here. Hold on, let's go look. Here we go. These stores always have an awesome selection of Fortnite stuff. Here's just some t-shirts, some, I guess they're weapons, grenades. Um, here's boogie bombs. And then they got a bunch of stuff over here. A couple of masks, blankets outfits more down here port a fort stink bomb i like this llama bell <laughs> we need more llama bell all right let's do one more here and then i have another location i need to get to today so i will continue it over there you guys make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up and stick around because we're doing a ton of these spirits this year as well as other halloween places okay so what we're looking at here is inflatable costumes i lost the person's name i'm sorry but they were from canada and they wanted to see what they have they might order some online which i mean you can go on there and see what they have online anyway but here's one of my favorites the alien pick me up it's an inflatable alien where your legs and your body actually go there and your head sticks out and your arms and then it looks like he's carrying you we got the inflatable sumo wrestler, Ollie Ostrich. Looks like you're riding the ostrich. Oh, they got another ostrich too. So you could do like a couple's uh, costume. You're each riding co ostriches. Let's see, inflatable bull rider, Donnie the Dino. You gotta love the inflatable dinosaur costumes. Those are cool. Flamingo. Look at this one. I don't think I've seen this one. 
An inflatable ride on dragon. That's like a how to train your dragon thing, I guess. Inflatable baby, let me zoom in, sorry. Little bit of shine on there, so it's kind of hard to see, but those are inflatable babies. Inflatable poop! We got poop! <laughs> inflatable chicken, inflatable teddy bear. Let's see. Oh, here's a party pooper. Inflatable pooper! Guys, it's the inflatable pooper. <laughs> you could totally do a couple's costume. One could be the inflatable pooper, and the other could be the inflatable poop. This is definitely one of my favorites, though. Inflatable wavy arms guy. I love that. Rasta banana. Wait a minute, guys. Holy crap, I almost missed it. They have a Hugs the Clown. Oh my god, I haven't seen this anywhere. 25 bucks? All right, he's a giveaway. All right, guys, real quick before I go, I found another awesome YouTuber here. His name is Ty, and he's going to tell you something awesome that they've done on a channel called The Merkins. Okay. Uh, my name's Ty Frager, and I uh, did the voice of Leatherface in the videos uh, Friends of No Faces and uh, Scream Like You Were Dying for The Merkins. Uh, you can go ahead and check those out. It's on the Merkins YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, go ahead and support them. There's a bunch of really funny videos and everything for Halloween. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out here at Spear Halloween at some point. And uh, everybody stay good. All right, guys. Yeah, the Merkins. I will put the link below and you guys can check them out. All right, guys. Check this out. This is also one of these that you squeeze. Let's see what he says. Step right up. Step right up. Yeah, you'll be nice. Very dangerous. <laughs> I love the purple hair. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. He's going to be a total giveaway because I am not keeping that creepy thing.